Hi, this is Gail from Bernina of Naperville, and guess what? We are in month six of our North Stars Block of the Month by Elizabeth Hartman. I can't believe it was six months ago where we sat here in our first uh, virtual Block of the Month. You can see that as we've gone on, my little gray hairs are shining bright like a diamond. <laughs> but I, but it's not about me. This month, it's about Olive and Oswald, or Olive and Oswald. I, I don't really know the difference between the two of them, but these are our cute little otters. So I have a presentation that I'm gonna take you through. However, we are, I'm gonna try something new this month. I, I teased this last month about actually getting together and trying to show you the process of how I sew this together from start to finish. So I think I did a pretty good job of that. I don't know if we caught every single thing. However, you know the drill, half square triangles, flying geese off the wazoo, and label, label, label. So let's get started. There is nothing cuter than Olive and Oswald Otter. Come on now, look at them, they're adorable. So you need some fabrics this month and in your kit you have nine fabrics including the background and a small scrap of black fabric. You're gonna need a rotary cutter and mat, all of the rulers like we always talk about, thread, and this month we sewed on a Bernina 570 Quilters Edition with the 97D quarter inch foot. And I snuck a little tool that I love because by now you've probably worn out your rotary cutter blade and I showed our pink blade saver. Now this is something that you use if you wanna do chain piecing and then quickly liberate them from each other. The blade saver uses your old rotary cutter and allows it to be a quick little snipper. So you might wanna check one of those out. So Olive and Oswald, like I said, are made up of the background fabric, which is a lavender fabric. It's 18 inches with the fabric. And then we've got a dark detail that's about a six inch square. And then we've got seven fabrics that are cut into fat eights. And by the way, a fat eighth is nine inch by 21 inches. <laughs> you knew this was coming. This is an otter fun fact. Did you know that otters like to stick together? So when they sleep, they will wrap themselves in seaweed and float together in a group. And a group of resting otters is called a raft. We wouldn't go drifting away on one of these rafts, however, because otters have a nasty bite. Oh, ouch. Now, we all know that the trick to doing these blocks properly is to label, label, label. I just really can't stress that enough. But let's have a look at how to make some of these half square triangles and flying geese units. Okay, here's another otter fun fact. Hey, don't challenge an otter to a 
holding your breath competition because sea otters can stay underwater for five minutes. And river otters, those cute little buggers, well, they can hold their breath for even longer. Eight minutes. Huh. So let's just sit back and see how Olive and Oswald bloom. Here is your third fun fact. Hey, did you know that sea otters sometimes hold hands while they're sleeping? It keeps them from floating away from each other. Often a mother and a pup will hold on to each other while they are resting so that they don't drift off from each other and the rest of their group. Once again, their group is called a raft. Let's continue to build our little hand-holding otters. All right, here's something I want you to keep in mind. When you are making the otters and their little hands, it's really important that you know which way that Q unit needs to be. So the width of the Q unit is three and a half. And as you're sewing the L unit to it, that is going to be stitched to the three and a quarter inch side. So it's very easy to get that twisted by accident. So just fair warning that when you're attaching your S units, your J units to those Q units that you are looking at it with the Q unit, that, that it, the width is actually three and a half inches and the height is three and a quarter inches. Here's another fun fact. Oh, can't wait. All right, sea otters, they don't just have the densest fur of all otters, they have the densest fur of all animals. They have as many as one million hairs per square inch on the densest parts of their body. They need every last hair because they are the only marine mammal to not have a layer of blubber as insulation against the freezing cold ocean water. Their fur protects them from the cold and keeps them waterproof. Oh my God, if only to have the hair of an otter.
next month, we're going to make, I don't need, what, what, what the H-E double toothpicks is a muskox? Anyone? Okay, next month, we're going to make this sexy little guy right here a muskox. Now, first of all, I will come equipped with a full definition of what a muskox is, but I call it a yak, and I'm sure that's totally wrong. But let's look. What is, what is his name? Has anyone read ahead? Oh, oops, it's not a he. It's a Meredith. Meredith Muskox next month. All right, if you want to be sure to tune in to Meredith the Muskox next month, don't forget to go to our YouTube channel. It's easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And there you can like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Want to know exactly the minute, the countdown of when Meredith Muskox makes her appearance? Then ring the little bell and you'll get an alert. So until then, read up on Muskox.